Hey, what is up, guys? This is Scott from Tractor Ramping, coming at you with another um, GX75 update. And um, I don't have a tripod, see, aiming all over the place. Um, but I tried to use a light tripod, but you need a bolt. And I'm pretty sure the bolt doesn't go with the one that goes under the camera. So, all well, that light's going to act as a very important helper. Not for me, for you guys, because you guys aren't going to be able to see unless that right there. But, um, basically what I'm going to be showing you guys to do is how to get this wiring from this light. You know, it's all drooped down right there. Well, we're going to get it up. I don't know if you guys can see this. Up in the crevice right there. Hopefully you guys can see it. Well, we're going to be getting it up in the crevice. And I'm going to make it a lot more easier to see with the jacks that I'm going to get out. But I'm just going to use like a dot of hot glue on each like five inches of wire just to keep it up. And of course I'm going to leave some slack on the fuse. And, um, yeah, so I'm going to get this thing up on the jacks real quick, and, uh, we'll take it from there. Hey, guys, what is up? I'm under the tractor right now, and, um, got my handy-dandy glue on here. And, um, well, I'm going to, there's that little spot right there, right there. I'm going to glue a wire to, these two, actually. And, um, I can't really do it with a camera because I don't have a tripod, and, um, It'll be difficult just to do that with one hand and see it through the camera since it's blocked and I have more vision alone. So um, I'm going to come back as soon as I get to about there with the gluing and then I'll show you guys how to do one and then you guys can pretty much do it by yourselves. Um, so yeah, I'll be right back. Okay guys, I am back and I got it pretty much up to there with two, two seams and um, I'm going to try my best to do this on camera, it's probably not going to look too pretty, but I'm um, holding the wires in the camera in one hand, got the hot glue going in another, alright, and if this thing would ever focus, focus, whatever, um, you can see the basic ideas, got the hot glue going, and I am coming in on the wires, I don't know if you can see that, on the wires and just pressing down some hot glue up in there, smoosh it around in there, get some in there. And I could tell I didn't have enough, so I'm going to go on the sides and just push it all around the wires so you have a pretty healthy amount. And then while it's drying, just go back to the other ones and pick off the excess. And um, that should hold almost instantly. It's going to be some stringies, but um, yeah, that should hold almost instantly. Still got a lot to go into the motor or the battery but um I'm not gonna do it as often I'm gonna do it like every five or six inches so it should be only about five or six more glue patches right here so uh, glue patches right here um removing these wires shouldn't be a uh, too big of a burden it's just a, a matter of coming in here with your fingernails and just scraping this crap out but um uh, as you can see it's kind of dirty in there not as clean as over here, so I'm gonna have to go in there with the brushes and um uh, wipe that stuff off. So uh hey guys back again, guess what? I just finished the new wiring project and what I'm gonna do now is show you how it looks. Alright, so we all know it starts up there. Comes back velcro that to that. Up to this hole. I sealed that hole off with hot glue just to make sure it's a seal so that way even though that hole goes straight to the same spot you can see the wires um no water will be getting in there to make those wires come out and then in the top part we have here um what I did was wired them back up to my battery ran that cord to the positive behind there it, came, it just came undone um just pushed it behind there and then smushed it up against back and then the uh, negative just goes straight out but uh, as you can see that hole see I'm pulling this wire right here and it's not budging so did a pretty good job there um my next project is to get these fenders off and I'm probably gonna start that tonight maybe depends on what I gotta do and then um the final project on this thing, well, besides getting it all looking nice, is um, I want to put like a box right under here, but that's later to come, and um, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks. Bye.